Yo, what's happening, YouTube? So today I'm finally doing what I've been dreading to do for a while, um, is get my car tinted. So before I obviously show you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna do to my car, the tent, I had a chance to clean the garage. It's been like a super big mess for like, I don't know, like four, like three or four months. I cleaned up the table, I had a friend come over and give me a hand and organize all my tires. And that's why you see the cover off the GTR because I went and took pictures the other day and then I had his car in the lift, took it outside. Um, but basically, the car here, I haven't got it tinted. I've had it for about, I don't know, a month and a half now. And I just been dreading it because I live somewhere where there's no shops near me. So any shops are like 20 plus minutes away and it's hard for me to get somebody to give me a ride or have to get an Uber. And right now with the epidemic and like all the coronavirus and everything that's happening right now, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, get an Uber. I don't want to really go anywhere because of that, because it's, you know, it's super sketchy and I don't want to get sick or anything. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm probably gonna be immune to it because I have a really good immune system, but at the same time is, you know, you, you can never be safe. But I'm gonna quickly do a cold start and we're gonna head over there. So it's crazy what's happening right now in the world. Like, uh, I'm not sure if a lot of you are keeping up with it. I'm sure by 95% of you guys are keeping up with it. But basically there's a virus going around called the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say it's, I think it's, you know, I'm a, I'm one of those people that don't believe what, you know, said out there, but I kind of don't. Um, I think it's kind of something to do with money and the tariffs that have been happening and somebody made a, you know, virus has been out and uh it's kind of taken over our economy right now all the restaurants and bars are closed all the um you know i believe secretary of state's even closed so i don't want to ruin this video by talking too much about it but basically an issue i'm having too is like i told you guys in the previous video i'm trying to sell my gcr for an investment that i have going on but if that doesn't happen, I wanted to, you know, get a loan on this car just so I can use the money from the loan to put it towards the investment. So the problem with that is I just got the title for this car a few days ago. And apparently this is what my banker told me, the lady at the credit union is all, every single secretary of state office, which is like a, um, like a, like a DMV for people that are like California. I can't even go there and title the car in my name right now because of that. So, I mean, you know, they're saying, hey, well, you know, you're wondering why I'm driving the car, how I'm driving the car. Well, it's, I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to not, you know, drive my car. I paid all this money for because, you know, they shut down all the Secretary of State offices. Jesus, there was a big pothole there. But I basically am, uh, you know, kind of in a rut myself here, along with a lot of other people that are kind of, you know, not lost their jobs but are off for a while. I got a few friends that are still getting, you know, salary jobs and a few friends that are, to work on commission and they haven't been working so it's kind of terrible what's going on basically though um i'm gonna get the windshield tinted and i'm gonna get the side windows I'm, all the windows tinted in here so they're all not tinted from the factory it's not like part of the back ones get tinted or anything but i'm gonna get the um windshield tinted 35 percent i'm gonna do the sides 15 percent and i'm gonna do the quarter windows right there and the back window five percent i usually just tint the whole thing like back in the day i used to tint the whole thing with like five percent tint all around and then the windshield like 15 percent but that's like way 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 too dark and not to mention 15 percent on the sides is more than enough for people not to really be able to see you inside i mean even that isn't the main point for tim so basically what i'm going to do is the reason i do the windshield on my cars is because people are like oh why you do the windshield you probably can't see at night when you're looking with your eyes you're you're like transitioning right so you're looking at something that has zero tint on it so let's say you're making a left or right turn when you turn your eyes have to transition to the darkness so when you have a tinted windshield it kind of all flows where it's you know you're in a darker car and it all you know your eyes will have to readjust for the brightness or the darkness of the tint i'm taking the car to a shop that the guy i've always i've always went there i've always got a bunch of my cars tinted there he's a little bit pricier than you know normal i guess bargain places that you know do tint but he's i'd rather take it to him and spend the you know 400 bucks it's gonna be to do the car that's not ceramic as well and have the car done right he uh double heats it up or he double does something he uses like heat 
um, and it basically makes it where there's no air bubbles. So when you get tint done, there's usually like water bubbles and stuff. I guess he heats it up so where you don't in the future see any blurred lines or you know heat like little bubbles on the tint at all, like zero, not even during, you know, like right after he does it. So it's gonna come out pretty good and I don't gotta worry about it. I figured, you know, let me spend the actual little bit of money and get it done right. Also, I'm not sure if you guys seen on my Instagram. My Instagram would, would be down right here. It's at sinister underscore lifestyle. But I posted a video of me in Mexico and I uh, I basically raced a GTR. I think it was exhaust and maybe a few other bolt times. I don't think it really had much done to it, but raced him from, uh, I don't know, 40 miles per hour to, I'm not gonna mention the other speed, but basically did pretty good there. I'll play the video right now. A lot of people are saying, oh, like, what happened to your car after the video? You see, like, at the end, there's, like, dust that comes up. Basically, I was going over the lanes, and there was, like, dirt or something. And it, it was, like, a pile of dirt I went right over. So, that's what that was. But it was a pretty good race. I've never really got to race this car too much. Um, I gotta get used to, you know, driving it a little bit better because I'm, you know, throwing it, you know, too fast or missing gears or something. So, I gotta relax. It's just I'm trying to keep up with these autos. But I'm gonna head to this uh, tin shop, drop the car off, and meet up with my buddy, Robert. Robert over here meeting me in his Mustang. We were cruising the other day and I guess some of his O2 sensors on his car went bad because of the E85. My old Mustang used to do the same thing. You're gonna hear his misfiring. We just reset the, uh, or we have to reset the engine light, and we just change the O2 sensors because the E85 makes O2 sensors go bad on Mustangs for some reason. So we just changed those, and uh, it should be running good now. We're gonna see if we can do some pulls. He wanted to use my lift, so uh, I had to pull the GTR down. But I'm gonna go put it back in the garage now. Shifts are so hard, it kicks out the back tires. It's been a few hours since the guy actually went in, uh, took the car and started to tin it. I actually dropped it off this morning after uh, me and Rob just went and did some pulls, but I had to actually go get my, my head up my barber and see if I can get a haircut, but he said all spas are closed, but he was cool enough to stop by and actually do my lineup and my haircut. I'll drop a video right now. So with everything going on, he was cool enough to come over and actually hook me up, but not to mention the guy who actually is tinting my car, he was doing it. He used to tint my car when I was way younger, and I just ended up taking it somewhere else because I was being cheap, but he ended up cleaning my car because it got rained on the other night. Before he tinted it, he cleaned it, and then he sent me some pictures of the cars. So I just got here, and man, the car looks better than the day I got it, even though the paint still kind of needs to be uh, paint corrected, but the guys over here took care of it, and they uh, basically cleaned the whole car. I think it's because when they put the tint on the car, they don't want it dirty because they put it on the outside to measure it, and then they put it on the inside. But you can see direct sunlight here. It's still dark to where you can barely see who was inside from the front. And the side, you can see the sun's right up there. The side's directly beaming on the 15% on the sides. So it's, you know, you can't even see who's inside even with direct sunlight. So it looks good. They also cleaned like the wheels and tire shine and everything. So it's, uh, it's time for me to put it away and get this coronavirus gone. But I'll talk a little more about it when I get in the car. The car came out really good. I want to give a big shout out to Todd at Detail Express. 
Um, you don't have to go above and beyond, man. If you're seeing this video, you don't have to go above and beyond and wash the car and take care of me like that. I know you saw it dirty and you always want to keep my cars clean and fresh and, you know, hook me up. I appreciate it. Um, this video is not sponsored by him again, but uh, I'm going to start using the hashtag not sponsored, but he's a good dude. Uh, I'll leave his info below if you want to contact him. He does a bunch of supercars. I mean, this is probably one of the cheapest cars he does. Um, works on Ferraris, Lamborghinis and stuff, but came out really good. I've been, you know, mean to get the car tinted, so I'm really glad it's dark enough inside where I can just drive it normally and not everyone's staring. Uh, I also got to get the Redline Motorsports or Redline Performance stuff off the side, and I also have like some dealership stuff on the back, and I uh, got to get the car registered, but right now with what's going on, it doesn't seem like that's going to be working out too well, but I'm going to stop by a buddy of mine's house and uh, surprise him really quick while I'm on my way home, and then I'll probably take a full walk around video and show you guys what I did and the reason I did the, did the tent. And you guys can see the difference. I mean, in the sunlight, you can see it's not even it's not even that uh, dark in the sunlight. But once you you know there's no direct sunlight, it looks pretty dark in the inside. Normally, I mean, this isn't bad. This is clear view. If you look at the difference here, there's a slight shade difference in you know brightness. But I can't open the windows right now because you're not supposed to for the first few days. But basically, if I open this, you'll see a huge difference in light. But this difference is a lot easier to transition than if I was going from you know no tint, you know. Uh, I guess you can say 100% clear to 15%. So that's the reason I did that. The back over here is also 5%, and these little quarter windows right here are 5%, just because I'm never gonna look out of those. No one's ever gonna look out of those things. And the back window, it's you know, it's bright enough to where I can see a car behind me. I mean, there's no real big deal for me to have the back window being you know anything lighter because I don't want anyone seeing me inside or what I'm doing. This little line. And these bubbles should go away with the sun. Sun's facing there, so it should rise up there and then come back down over there. So that should go away. You can see he basically shaved the edges so they're you know perfectly shaved all the way down so there there's no huge gap. Them um, yeah, the windows also don't go up too much, so oh, it looks good. It's crazy he actually cleaned it for me. Besides that, I'm going to end the video off here. If you like the video, you like the tent, you have any questions about my tent, leave a comment down below. My Instagram is at sinister underscore lifestyle. My Facebook is sinister life. Besides that, wash your hands.